Hello and welcome to this review of Buzz Balls Cocktails. This is the Chalk Teas. Now if you get the Biggie bottle, it's called Chocolate Teas, but they changed the name for each of their iterations. There's also uh, the Chiller series, which I noticed, which is wine-based. And the Cocktail series is wine and or liquor, but always liquor, but sometimes wine. Um, that's probably done because certain states won't allow flavored liquors like these but they'll allow wine even though they're all 15 percent from this company so is that done for consumer safety or to protect some connected business within that state probably probably the second option but they'll always you know say it's for consumer safety and all of that protection premium vo premium vodka orange wine hmm, and cream with natural flavors 200 milliliters, which is like about 6.8 ounces. Like I said, 15% alcohol by volume. It's woman owned. Some lady in Texas that started this company in 2009. And I can see that her, probably looks like her children are helping her with it, uh, being the uh, you know, vice presidents and directors or whatever. Okay, made with 15% recycled plastic, she says. All of her products are certified kosher, and this one is gluten-free. And this is produced and bottled by Buzzball LLC, Carrollton, Texas. So it's not produced by somebody for them, it's produced by them. 22090, probably the 90th day of 2022. 20 hours, 49 minutes, 31 seconds, okay. Go Texan, TerraCycle, and Kosher Dairy Certified. Have a ball. That's their slogan. Have a ball. I've never had these before. I've seen them for years. Um, I don't know their availability if they're sold in foreign countries. It's got like a can cap. It's a plastic bottle, but it's got a can um, tab. Okay, so we're getting a um, beige appearance that you would get with chocolate milk, some chocolate milks. It is made with real cream, a lot of cows in Texas, so there won't be a shortage of cream there. Um, I don't, they don't say anything about coloring, but they might say that on the website, uh, caramel coloring, I don't know don't think it is but I could be wrong okay but there's no artificial colors and no artificial flavors it's real cream premium vodka now orange wine is that a premier type of wine uh, I don't think so you see orange and citrus orange wine and citrus spirits and a lot of low priced lower priced um, alcoholic beverages but you know no problem uh, better to uh, take oranges that maybe are turned and, and are not suitable for the uh, produce section in a store and either distill them into citrus spirits or make orange wine out of it. Why waste? It smells uh, sort of like chocolate and sort of like orange juice. Uh, true story. Okay, let's go with the taste. gluten-free they, mu they must be using corn vodka it could be using grape vodka but probably corn yellow corn could be white corn wouldn't matter there's a chocolate flavor natural chocolate flavor now is it from cocoa or is it just some natural substance that mimics the flavor of chocolate hmm, probably the second choice Tastes like chocolate. Um, you know what? They're saying natural chocolate flavor. And from my reading, 
of the federal government regulations on natural versus artificial flavorings. If it just says natural flavorings can be kind of like anything, you know, that's from nature, bark, bark, leaves, oil, essential oils, resin, oleo resin. Um, different juices, fat, but um, if they specifically state like natural grape flavor or natural chocolate flavor, then it would have to be derived from that, that stated um, flavor, that's right. You get the, you know, it's 30 proof, so you're getting the liquor bite a, a bit on it. Um, medium bodied, medium dry finish. It's pretty sweet. I mean, if you don't like sweet things, these are dessert products, so you would hate it. I mean, but chocolate type things tend to be sweet. If it's Irish cream liqueurs, which run around 34 proof. Uh, these uh, Pennsylvania Dairy Cream liqueurs, it's, they all have a very similar flavor. They're sweet, they're creamy, and they're chocolatey. Or, or have a good, good amount of vanilla flavor. Have I noticed one really standing out over the others? Not at this point. I just noticed most of them are good. I mean, it's a competitive market. If you're going to put just utter trash out there that tastes terrible, you're probably not going to last too long. There's so much competition. I know where these are sold. I see these in a lot of the checkout areas and stores. These buzz balls. They're always in stock, so somebody's buying them. Um, there are some reviews of this. I'll check it out. They're very similar to the Chi Chi's from Sazerac. Well, produced by Sazerac, at least. Chi Chi's is a different own company, but you know they, they have the liquor based and the big bottles for Chi Chi's and then the small bottles are wine based and it's the same, probably the same type thing as a state law problem but um, I would guess that the flavor is probably identical really they got it perfected you know but I don't know that because I haven't done a blind taste test and I'm not going to to sit there and drink a bunch of sweet stuff to taste it but uh, it's fine I'm, I used to kind of look down on it just because, I mean, the presentation's sort of like lowbrow, you know what I mean, like Friday night card game hijinks, maybe, it says drink responsibly, but you know what I mean, Pe maybe people not taking that advice with this, and um, so I'm thinking, ah, oh, it's going to be bad, it's sort of cheap, low low grade but um it's really not coming out like that and it's coming out pretty high grade so okay family owned business uh locally produced and in the mix so yeah i'm gonna go with an a now will it be family owned in a week <laughs> i don't know these things tend to be bought out quite quite commonly but it's been independent for the first tw um, 13 years of its existence at least so late and i don't know how big it you know, it may, I see it in Louisiana, and obviously it's going to be in Texas, but I don't know if it's in your state. I saw some guys in Kentucky doing a review, so it must be there. It's probably more common than less common. But anyway, so lazy. I had this in the freezer for 30 minutes after. It was already chilled, by the way. So lazy, Le Bon Ton Roulet, an A, 94 out of 109.4 4 out of 10. I think it would compete with that recent Irish Irish cream liqueur, liqueur, can't say that word anymore, liqueur that I've got, and, um, which is 34 proof, which doesn't even say it's made with Irish whiskey, it just says Irish cream liqueur, which is making me think it might just be made with Irish vodka, uh, Irish grain spirits. Uh, well, if it tastes good, what difference does it make? That doesn't make much difference. So. I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Carrollton, Texas and tour the Buzz Balls LLC production facility.